Wow. Uh, the power just went out because we live in a V-shaped area. And as soon as I went to press record, it came back on. I'll keep you updated. Since I have you here though, power goes out, it's October. We live in a farming area. That's Fern Ridge Organic Farm. Uh, it's close to town, walking distance. Uh, our power goes out regularly in the fall, around October to February. So we'll see how things go this year. I don't mind it, it's not a big deal. I mean, it is inconvenient, but again, uh, where I grew up, we lived on a mountain five miles from town. So again, not close, but not that far. Sometimes our, I remember our power went out for at least a week. And I had to walk to school in the snow, uphill, both ways, in my bare feet. Yeah. No, actually, we did have to walk to school. And to get home, we had to walk up this huge hill, which doesn't seem so big anymore now that I went back there. And nowadays, it doesn't seem that big of a deal. But back then, it was a big deal. That just makes me think about these people who are into uh, homesteading and getting off the grid and all this stuff. What they're getting themselves into. I mean, our power goes out for a day and we're on a well, so we got no water, got no power. Um, we do have a gas, I have a gas fireplace, so at least they got heat. Um, but yeah, being off the grid would be kind of cool. But um, when I was a kid, I, we were kind of off the grid. It's not that, it's literally cool. In the winter, it's freezing. So, you know, wood stove heats your house. If you don't get wood, you're kind of screwed. We didn't get wood usually till November because we'd run out because we didn't get enough in the in the summer because we had 40 acres you could just go in the back and chop a tree down or you know 10 trees haul it all the way back to your house chop it all up and make sure it gets dry in time well around November we'd run out of wood okay kids Get the sled. We're gonna go chop a tree down so we can burn it. I mean, uh, I don't know. Easy to be critical, but not so easy when uh, you're in that position. Not that I've ever been in that position, but there's a lot going on in life to, uh, be able to be on top of everything all the time. It just doesn't doesn't work out that well.